thank God for Dr. Withers, whose motto was pictures tell the story, because we're saying these things didn't happen. Not only did they happen, I witnessed many of them happening. Dr. Ernest Withers was one of the premier uh, black photojournalists in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. He was based out of Memphis, so he was part of, and you can tell by the intimacy of the photographs. They say he shot one, over 1 1.8 million pictures. Uh, there's rolls and rolls. This was film. Out of 1.8 million, we have 104 here documenting the civil rights movement, documenting uh, the baseball league, the um, sanitation strike, Martin Luther King, Emmett Till. This exhibit covers a wide, uh, a, a wide swath, and it's, uh, it's impactful and worth the experience. I was born in the segregated South, in Memphis, Tennessee, in the countryside. And I'm not sure what we know about the segregated South, but it was called Jim Crow. What Jim Crow means is separate but equal. But anyone who knows anything about Jim Crow knows that everything was very much separate and very much unequal for colored people, is what we were called then. Spring of 66, if you will remember, that's the height of the civil rights movement, the Freedom Riders and, and John F. Kennedy assassinated, and then 64 was Medgar Evers. All of this is in this exhibit. So in the spring of 68, there was a sanitation worker strike. And we were marching for basic human rights for, for the garbage workers. That was Dr. King's last act, last deed, on earth, and a riot erupted. He was whisked away and taken, to the, uh, taken back to the airport and flew back to Atlanta. The following week, March 28th, we did that march. Um, April 3rd, the night of April 3rd, he was back in town to do a march on April 4th or the next day, April 5th and of course was standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel and was shot and killed. We were devastated. Four days later, on April 8, 1968, the picture that uh, Dr. Withers took, and he was known as the photojournalist and the uh, historian for the civil rights movement. He basically was given that designation. And so he took that picture of us walking down. Uh, and I'll tell you about that day. It was about 10,000 people there, I think. And, and it was a march of silence and solidarity for Dr. King. Can you imagine 10,000 people walking in silence? That was pretty powerful. And so that picture, I'm holding a sign that says, Honor King, end racism. This is 54 years later. I was 19 years old at that time, a 19-year-old junior at Memphis State. And here we are 54 years later, backtracking. We're actually going backwards. For me, it's reliving my life, sort of, childhood, all over again, because this was my era. <laughs> I knew most of these people. So when Emmett Till was killed in 55, uh, mm -hmm. that was, you know, earth shattering. The picture of Mose Wright, 
whose home Emmett Till was taken from uh, and lynched and beaten brutally. There's a picture from the courtroom of Mose Wright pointing to the man who took his nephew. That's quite a, a powerful statement of a photo. There's uh, pictures of Tent City where the um, people were evicted from their homes and their farmland and for, you know, not able to buy food or um, you know, staples uh, and created Tent City for voter registration. It's an amazing history and those photos of the families living in Tent City, it speaks so much and um, that's something that I want people to know from this exhibit. The price paid was extreme and it could be happening again. My sadness is that we have two generations of people who uh, don't know this history and don't really know what actually happened. They said the civil rights movement ended in 1968 at the death of Dr. King, but actually it, it had a resurgence and it was really just a new beginning because the problems have not gone away. When you jump into the photos, you jump into the situation and you instinctively find your place where you would be. You jump out and you go, what's going on here? And the jumping back is about where does this, what does this mean now? What, 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 what place in history and what is it speaking to me now about what's happening now? So I find it incredibly relevant.